Welcome back to the channel. This is I, Lady Nika, and with um, another edition of In the News and shit, and then some, because we're going to talk about a lot of shit, so I'm going to jump right on in it, because I want to make sure I get everything out, and this video is not too long. These are just uh, different things that I have not spoken on uh, to anybody, and I wanted to share them with y'all. First thing I want to talk about was that um, Karuchi interview with um, Iyana. To me, nothing was solved. And y'all excuse if you hear the fan in the background. I'm pausing, baby, so I, shit, I need some air. Plus, I'm in a flail, so I damn sure need some air. But, what I have to say about that, y'all don't really have a whole lot to say about that because I, I didn't have no shade for that girl. Actually, I felt sorry for her. And not because I feel like, you know, she she's trying to solicit any type of sympathy from the people. I feel sorry for her because I can see myself being a Karuchi once upon a time, you know. I, I, I once had that kind of love for a person so much so that I was willing to put up with anything just to have a little something. And then I also put up with it for the mighty dollar, okay, to make my life a little bit better. So... What I really did feel was that nothing was accomplished. But it did open up, you know, my eyes. I don't know what it did for you all. But it did open my eyes up to, she's a very broken woman. You know, and it seems to be some stuff that started when she was a child. That she's never actually addressed. And it, it when you don't address issues like that, the shit tends to roll on over into your personal life. I mean, your adult life, you see. So, it's something in her life that she's been missing, you know. And I think that when she got with Chris Brown, he kind of gave her, you know, some of what she needed. And in giving her some of what she needed, she fell in love with him. And now she's in a situation where she really don't know what the hell to do. She don't want to walk away from the man, but at the same time, she know this is not good for her. Now, I know they broken up, but we all know. We've been seeing on Instagram that, you know, slowly, they going to wind up back together. My thing is, two broken people can't really do too much for each other. How? If I'm emotionally detached from, you know, being able to have a healthy relationship because of things that I have left unaddressed for years, how can I come along and give you what you need in order for us to mesh together right? I, I don't get it, you know. That to me was a waste of time. I don't know if Yana doing this shit now for ratings, you know, or what. But And I don't think that she's a miracle worker, but I, I did expect better results than that. And then when her people ended the convert, you know, the interview, I was like, why? Maybe in that little hour and a half, however long that day of interview was, it was a chance for her to at least know what steps she need to take to heal herself as a woman that way she'll set standards when you heal yourself and you start to love yourself you will set standards you won't take just no anything and i don't think it's wrong for anybody to you know set standards in their life and not be willing to compromise them it's just like for the a man that says that I don't want a woman that don't have no future, you know, someone who don't want to do anything with their life. Can we really get mad at him? He don't want somebody that's not equally yoked. So, to me, that was her just, that was the opportunity for her to really just come out of her shell and, you know, y'all, go push toward resolution and, and, and push toward becoming a whole person again because she's clearly broken. And I really got kind of mad when Wendy Williams want to call her a thot on the come up. Okay, that could be it. Like I said, it's got to be something deeper. It wasn't just that girl's love for the almighty dollar and the fame that she gets as being his girlfriend that keeps her there. Because, yeah, he provides all of that for her, but he also disrespects her and embarrass her in front of everybody. You know, however many people on Twitter, Instagram. Facebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, that's public humiliation. Public humiliation. At its finest. And a woman will take some shit for to keep them coins right, but at some point, 
you're going to stop and say, no, nah, I'm not going to take anymore. And she doesn't do that. And that lets me know that she really does love this man, but she don't know how to love him right. They don't have a healthy love. They have a very unhealthy love for each other. And I feel like for Wendy to say that, you know, woman to woman, everything ain't got to be about shade. Everything ain't got to be made by making a motherfucker laugh. Sometimes you need to connect with the human that's inside of you and, uh, you know, your personal experience and try to understand where she's coming from. Because it wasn't that long ago that Wendy Williams, her damn self, went through her own set of turmoil, okay? And she stayed. And and we all, you know, we say what we want to say. People said a man still cheating on that shit. He just did for the coin blase skill, okay? But I think that it is a sad thing that instead of extending, you know, maybe some advice to a girl young like that going through that you take that opportunity because you have that platform to try to demean her or, you know, come at her on, a, you know, be disrespectful to who she is and her, what she's going through. This may not be a serious situation for you, but it's a serious situation for her. Just like it didn't mean shit to us when your man got, uh, you know, was fucking around on you when you was pregnant. I didn't give two fucks. But that was a serious issue for you. And again, you stayed. So you know the mentality that that girl is under right now. Because you too had that at one time. Yeah, it may be different because you got a marriage license. But love is love. If I love you, I can love you just as strong without that piece of paper as I can with you having that piece of paper. Okay? So... I think that people need to be a little bit more sensitive in, in, you know, the messages they put out there, especially if you have a following of any kind. Be mindful of what you put out. Because everything you put out is a representation of you in some kind of uh, fashion. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm different, you know. I don't want to put out bullshit. I don't want to put out the... the What's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to put out the idea that 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 I have a uh, a malicious heart or or I'm one that will shade a bitch just to you know get a key key and a, and, and a vote or a thumbs up. I'm not. That's not who the hell I am. I'm not gonna do that to no woman. So you know, that was my opinion on that. I ain't like that shit. And, and I said what I had to say about it. I'm done with it. Next thing was there was controversy and I read the tweets and shit about uh. Michelle Obama being called a racist for appearing at the Black Girls Rock event. Now, that's a celebration of black girlhood. Is that woman not black raising two black daughters? People are always looking for a reason to throw the race card. People are always looking for a reason to throw any kind of card, but they really love their race card. Now, what would be said if she showed up at the Country Music Awards? Is she racist then? And we all know ain't too many of us do country music. But if she showed up to show, uh, it, you know, in support of the Country Music Association, would she be deemed as racist because she showed up there? It's like all of a sudden nowadays, it's, it's almost some, it, it's not politically correct to be proud of the skin you're in. I don't subscribe to that. I don't I don't feel that the Black Girls Rock event was in any way to talk down or reduce white people. But it's a celebration of us. It's a celebration of young girls strengthening their minds, their self esteem and their bodies. Okay? That's what I see it as. And I feel like as a mother of black daughters, there was no harm in that lady showing up there. And again, people always look for something negative to say when you know you know, pick your battles wisely. Stop looking for a reason to always tear somebody down for something. She, as first lady, has to be neutral. She has to be a part of a whole lot of different events that she may or may not really have a passion for. But we know she got a passion for that because she got Sasha and Malia. But, you know, people do what they do. I just think people need to start t thinking about what they say before they hit the sin button, for real. You type up these good... Um, you type up all these long posts and, and, and tweets and, and try to come for people that you really don't need to be coming for. Think about what you're saying. It, okay, 
doing Pride Week in different cities. It is what's wrong with you know they 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 represent what they believe in. Um, what we just had St. Patrick's Day. Hell, they celebrated that shit in Louisiana well past St. Patrick's Day. The Saturday after the damn holiday was there Wednesday. Them bitches were still holding up the traffic in my city because they was having parades. I, I didn't find nothing racist about that. I ain't had nothing racist to say about that. Other than get the fuck out the way. But that wasn't racist. People just look for stuff to say about people. And I don't understand that. Everybody deserves to be heard. Everybody deserves to have free will to go and, and do what they feel like they need to do. As long as it's not illegal or offensive to someone else, I don't see what the problem was with her being there. I, whatever, child. Fuck them. Next thing I wanted to send out prayers, you know. Y'all know me. I, she probably never see this video, and that's fine. Shit, I didn't do it for that. I'm doing the video and just talking to y'all because y'all my peeps, you know. So I'm just having a conversation, but my prayers are going up for Big Ange because she has throat cancer and she's scheduled for surgery next month. I understand having a scare like that, you know. I understand I have a compassion for people who sick and shit, you know. Things like that. I got compassion for that kind of stuff. So... My prayers are with her on, you know, as she go along this journey to recovery. And I hope everything works out all right for her. Next thing I wanted to talk about was, I know y'all saw that uh, Bravo announced some of their new shows coming up. And one of them is this Road to Riches. It's supposed to be a new reality show uh, starring Nene Lee and Kim Zosiak. Apparently they're going to travel from Atlanta to Los Angeles, you know, and, and do whatever the fuck. I have no idea what they're going to be doing. And I have no intentions upon watching this. I, um, my position with that is it's stupid to me. These women are not friends, you know. But I understand what Nene doing. Nene know that nobody in Hollywood is really checking for her to be a real actress because she's not a real actress. So she's got to do whatever she can through the... Bravo people to remain relevant and to keep a steady flow of income in our house. So, you know, I ain't mad at you, bitch, for doing what you gotta do. But my thing is, stop trying to make it look like you're better than somebody because you are reduced to this. This is what you have to do. Cynthia could leave a real housewife, and I don't do Cynthia, so don't nobody get to think that I'm just Team Cynthia. She I right, bitch, to do. But, you know, um, it ain't like Cynthia. It, can't go find these women had careers long before the how real housewives of Atlanta. Nene did not. Nene came on the scene through the real housewives of Atlanta, so she's always gonna re revert back to Bravo until she changed her ways and learned some acting skills. She's gonna always be running her ass back to these reality shows hosted by Bravo because Bravo is the hood for her. What I mean by Bravo is the hood for her is simply this. Uh, the bitch, Bravo is where she started it. You know, she may be even looked upon as celebrity, as a celebrity through the Bravo people. But it's Hollywood where the real money at looking for her. No. So whenever she get, you know, a show canceled on her ass or, you know, just a couple of weeks stint on a, Holly, on a Broadway production, you know, she gonna run over there, but she gonna always run back to Bravo because that's where her... That's where her all guaranteed bread come from. That's what I'm saying. And this is a fake ass. I mean, all reality shows is fake, but this is going to be beyond fake because we already know these hoes don't like each other, okay? So, mm, child, whatever. I won't be watching. Um, I did want to tell y'all the way I'm going to do my review of the reunion show. Now, we know in seasons past, this show, it's always a two-part, okay? I'm not going to review. We're not going to see part one, and then I come in with a review. I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to wait till both uh, parts of the reunion show is aired. And then I'm going to come in with a long video, and I'm going to recap the whole season. And then I'm going to break them holes down individually on what I think. Now, you know, these are not going to be no shit that's written in stone. These are Lady Nika's opinions. You are welcome to, you know, say what you got to say down in that panty section. As always, just keep it respectful, and I don't have a problem with it, okay? 
That's what we get. That's what we gonna do. Okay. All right. What's the next damn thing I wanted to talk about to y'all? Uh. Uh. I didn't come in and do a review for if loving you is wrong because I got mad, y'all. I got kind of pissed off this week with it. Not to the point where I'm like, I ain't reviewing the show no more. I just didn't feel like coming on here giving y'all about a seven minute rant on how bitches is retarded. And that's why I didn't come in. Because it, for those of you who do look for my reviews on there, all I, I was kind of mad about that episode. Because basically, they sat there and Natalie Esperanza and all them tried to really console Alex for cheating on her husband with her fucking friend, man. I ain't get that shit at all, y'all. Not when, right before we found out, when the season first began on the first episode, when they thought it was Kelly that was sleeping with Randall, it was a problem. People was looking at her crazy. Uh, 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 Eddie got small with her at one time about her trying to, you know, uh, comfort Mar Marcy when she showed up at uh Brad party drunk and shit. But then, when the cat's out the bag and everybody know it's been said, Y'all over there at her house trying to comfort her and, and, and soothe this bitch. How, what the fuck? How you... Uh, how does that shit work? You mean to tell me it, it's been a... Y'all damn to disrespect the fucking Kelly in her own damn house. But then when you find out it's this white girl that's been over there sleeping with the little... uh Sleeping with her friend, man... Now y'all over at Kelly, at, at Alex, I was trying to make her feel better, what? Chad, if I would've came in on that review, it would've been eight minutes of me cussing them bitches, slap the fuck out. Keep it fair, ho. That's what I say. So that's why I ain't say nothing about it. He go to review right here. I add it in the description box. Um, next thing I want to talk about is, uh, y'all, a couple of y'all have asked me, you know, about opening up a, like, an advice segment where you tell me shit and I, I give y'all my opinion, okay? I never did it at first because I don't feel like I'm no authoritative voice. I am just an older woman, you know, I'm not an old bitch at all. I still, you know, I'm a young woman still and I'm 42, okay? So I'm not an old bitch. I mean, I just got an old mentality because I done been through some things. But I still drop it like it's hot every now and again. So I'm I'm not that damn old. But also, I didn't ever feel like I had something, you know, to pass on. I, I my my delivery sometimes is very raw and uncut. It's not my heart that's that way, but I just I, I you ask me a question, you're gonna get it, you know. And I've had so many people ask me about that. That I'm gonna put my email link down in the description box and if you feel like you want to listen to or take advice from me or just hear my perspective on a situation you can bring me that information to my email box I'll put it you know I'll answer you in a video I will not reveal who you are I will never do that to anybody but if you feel that you want to actually you know share a part of yourself with me and get my take on it then leave it in my email you know drop me an email and I'll I'll, I'll get with you and I'll, I actually will do the video and, and address it and keep you totally anonymous the whole time okay I'll do that uh, another thing is I do want to announce that things are going to kind of change a little bit I have gotten almost all the equipment that I need in order to actually start doing my um, cooking segments and what I've decided to do is I'm going to keep this channel for my um, reality reviews, my Lady Nika Speaks, my end of news segment, you know, I'm going to keep it for entertainment and kiki purposes over here. When I open up my other channel, it's going to be Eats and Treats with Chef Nika. I want to do that totally separate of this because I, I am going to devote a lot of time to that because that's my craft, that's where, you know. That's what I do for a living. I am not some chick that went to culinary art school or took culinary art school in, in high school and maybe took a little class or two, you know, after high school at some local, you know, training facility. No, I am a certified chef. I am a certified master chef. And what I want to do is open that channel up to, you know, just 
present different meals, you know. We're going to do everything on there. We're going to do Mediterranean, Viet, uh, Vietnamese. We're going to do Southern. Southern would be Seoul. We're going to do a little bit of everything from that channel and also wine tasting and things of that nature on there. I want to have that totally separate because that's more on my... You know, that's that's me on a professional level. That's not going to be me smoking a cigarette, drinking from the Circle K. There ain't going to be none of that. It's going to be me coming to you at a capacity where I earn my money at, you know, and, and doing things with you all that I know that's obtainable for someone who don't have the experience that I have. Well, you fact checkers, you can go and check. I am a certified master chef. My name is Madronica Williams. I know some of y'all, you know, be want to check a bitch, so go and get them receipts, boo. And, um... I plan on launching that channel um, maybe the late part of May, early June. The latest will be July. I know by July my channel will be completely up and I will have videos there, you know, showcasing what I do every day, you know. And I hope that I can get, you know, the response that I got from this channel. When I do launch the channel and actually put up at least one or two videos, I will drop it in the description box of whatever video I'm doing for this channel. And then we can move forward from there. I hope that you guys like it. Uh, you'll see, you'll get to see me on a whole nother level on that channel. You probably will see me come alive because I come alive doing my craft. You know, so I want to let you guys know that that is something that you can look forward to from Lady Nika um, in the future. What else did I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, y'all also on this video in the comment section if there are shows it because a lot of these shows from the end and I I don't really have a show lineup and I really want to get one I want to get a consistent uh, set of shows that I do every week no matter what even if I got to clump them all up into a reality veggie uh, a reality veggie soup at the end of the week because you know y'all know I got to look for some time bitch be sick and she can't do it so even if I got to do it all as a clump in a, a reality veggie soup I, I want to be able to do that for you all and if there are any shows currently that you are watching and you are really into and you think based upon you know what you've gotten to know over me over the last two and a half months that that's something that I can talk about and will be you know you would like me to do it please let me know in the comment section of this video because this is the video that's going to determine the shows that I fool with right now I only have one show that I'm I'm still going to you know, stick with a hundred percent, and that is, uh, you know, of course, if loving you is wrong. If it's anything else you want me to do, guys, you know, now don't ask me to do stuff like R and B divas because we like eight or nine episodes. Yeah, I watch shit, but uh, we eight or nine episodes in, and it's not gonna be too many more episodes for this show. In, I'm talking about now, y'all know, loving hip hop Atlanta. I will be reviewing that show. That's my shit. There, I'm gonna go in. Y'all think y'all look. My real housewife. Oh, I go ignorant about that uh love and hip hop, Miss Jocelyn, baby. Yes, God. But uh, <clears throat> if it's anything you want me to do, just holler at your girl. You know, let me know, and I'll check the show out. And if I can do it, I'll come. I'll come back. You know, if you're on Twitter, you're following me on Instagram. You know, leave it in this uh, comment section of this video, and I'll go look at that show, and if I can't do it, I'll contact you personally and let you know what's going on, why I don't think that I'll be able to do it. But I need some, you know, suggestions, because I don't know what the fuck to give y'all. I really don't. And I figure if this is going to be a channel showcasing me giving you what you want, then I'm asking you what do you want from me. So, you know, leave it in the comment section, and we'll talk about that from there. Um, lastly, y'all, I, I just want to take a minute to really thank each and every subscriber, y'all, that I have. I really do, y'all. I am killing a fucking mosquito flu up in my damn house. Y'all, it's Louisiana is a beast, so I'm trying to get the fuck away from this shit. But, I do want to thank, you know, take a moment to... Say to each and every one of my subscribers, all 500 and some of y'all, that I really appreciate the fact that you're able to relate to me and you come back time and time again, watch my videos, and talk with me on my channel. I appreciate that. Oftentimes, people will not understand me 
they will take, you know, the fact that I'm relatable to just about anybody and group me into a category as a country bumpkin or some shit like that. Yes, I have a southern accent. Yes, I have a deep Louisiana accent that I'm very proud of. But that does not mean that that's all I know. You know, basically what I'm saying is don't judge me based on what you think. You might want to read a couple of these chapters of this book because you might be, you know, you might be pleasantly surprised that I am not what you think that I am. Okay, but for those of you who have taken the time to actually get to know me and, you know, talk with me in these comments and, you know, come back over and over and over again and, and watch my videos and go up for a bitch, I appreciate y'all. It's y'all that makes me able to come up in front of this camera every day and be as relaxed as I am now because I am more relaxed now. I'm more, you know, I, I have more confidence. And I'll never stop being myself. I'm relatable, you know. I, I have a lot of intelligence. However, I know how to relay what I'm saying to you on a level where the common man can understand it. That's who I am. I don't feel that I have to be something that I am not to be accepted. And if that's what I have to do, then I, my channel will slowly grow because I'll do this on my own. Off of my own, you know, my own personality. I'm doing it off of that now. But I have an A-team that I really appreciate that has been very, very supportive of me. But for those of you who have taken the time to actually get to know Lady Nika and, and find out that I am exactly who I am in front of this camera. I'm not just, you know, on this camera acting like I'm just the wisest motherfucker on the planet of the earth. Then I'm some stuck up ass bitch because I feel that I'm on the level better than the next. That ain't who the fuck I am. I'm just the average, everyday woman, just like any other black woman out here that's trying to make it in this world. And I got even more crosses to bear because I have illnesses. And But, you know, hey, you see me still come on here looking cute. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do want to thank y'all, you know, my subscribers. I'll never look at you all as fans. I look at y'all as my friends. Because it takes a friend to be able to keep coming back, you know, time and time again. And I don't always say what you want to hear, but you know what I say come from my heart, and I mean it. Now, we can agree to disagree. That's how it go. But, you know, again, please uh, thank y'all for sticking with me. I'm, I'm busting my ass trying to get to that 1,000 subscribers by uh, summertime. At least July, I want to be at 1,000 subscribers. And I hope that I can, you know. And I thank y'all for, um, you know, liking my videos, commenting with me, sharing my videos. It really means a whole lot to me. Um, before I close out, I want to also say that my prayers are still with Miss Tiki underscore 44 she has a new channel well she has a channel now she's a new youtuber and if you guys don't mind if you haven't already please go over and check out tiki t i k k i 44 she uh she right now I don't know what she do she talk right now she just a vlog she just talked to us she she did a couple of shows like real housewives of atlanta but right now, she's really doing her thing like I did, where I really introduced myself to you before I started digging into these shows and stuff. I just got sucked into the Real Housewives of Atlanta deep like I did, because I, I guess people liked what I had to say, which one number shit, fuck them bitches. That's what I felt, and that's what I said. But, you know, yeah, go over there and check her out, and also, you know, send out a prayer to her mom. She, you know, she's, right now she's going through some, you know, medical issues, and I want to spend a, uh, send also a special thank you to my, I don't know, you know, I got, I got a niece that's cemented, I got a nephew that's Mike B, uh, I'm going to call him my little stepson. You know, not step because I'm the wife of his, you know, I'm the wife of his dad or nothing like that because he has a mother. I'm going to say his godmom because he, you know, he's somebody I really am starting to build a relationship with. I really love him. And if y'all not subscribed, please go over and subscribe to J. Darrell Hunt, um, Preacher Boy on Twitter. I appreciate you coming in today when, um, 
I was in the midst of trying to actually y'all I opened a prayer service on my damn Twitter timeline today. Yes I did. Yes I did. Because I when I say I care about somebody and I care about each and every one of y'all that watch my channel, whether you talk to me or not, I gotta care for you because if you didn't come and click click on me, then I wouldn't have the courage to continue to come here day week after week and make videos for you guys. You know, we are only as successful as you allow us to be. So I appreciate it. And when she told me today that, you know, her her mom was, you know, having a medical emergency, I immediately did the thing that I know to do best, and that's to go in the prayer for that lady. You know, and when I did, I, I know that the Bible say, well, one or two are gathered in my name, I'm here. So I called on some, I called on one of my prayer warriors that I knew would answer immediately. And he came through, and that's Jay Darrell Hunt. I really hope that y'all go over there and check his channel out. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to that guy, because he is just, y'all, he hilarious as hell. And I see great things. Uh, his channel is really, his channel is bigger than mine right now. And I only see, you know, growth for him in the future. So, you know, thank you to him. And please go over there and check him out. Also, um, who else? Is somebody else I spoke? Um, I was also, before I end this video, I haven't heard or seen, you know, tea spilling for a while. I know he, you know, he had, he had a really uh, hectic work week. And he ain't been, you know, active with me like he normally be. But I do want to, you know, tell him, hey, boo, and hit me up because, I, you know, you've been on my mind. I just want to know that you're okay. It's nothing that I want or need. But I just, you know, I like to keep up with my people. He, His channel is Spilling the Teas. If you're not watching him, please go over and give him an opportunity to because that me and him, we late night talk shit about the hoes. Okay, all up through Twitter, but please go over and check out J. Darrell Hunt, Miss Tiki 44, and T Spilling, uh, Spilling the T's, T Spilling on on, on Twitter, y'all. Shit, I lost my train of thought just that fast. Anyway, this video was at 31 minutes now, and I wasn't even expecting that. Um, again, remember, I have a new channel, Eastern Treats with um, Chef Nika Coming. She'll be launching within the next month or two. Um, if you feel that you want to, you know, my advice or my opinion on a situation that you're going through right now, I am going to drop my email address down there for you to be able to do that so that we keep it anonymous. And, you know, if you want me to tell you right then what I think, let me know. Or if it's okay that I make a video and address you, let me know. Because some people don't want me to make no damn video to addressing them because they just don't and I ain't mad at you. So let me know what you want from me and I'll get it done. ASAP. Also, let me know what shows you all would like to hear me talk a recap. Because we're coming to the end of a whole lot of, and I don't have a lineup. So let me know what it is that you want of me, and I will make it. I will make every effort possible to try to get that done for you all. Um, with that being said, please like, comment, subscribe, um, share my videos. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Enjoy your Easter. Happy Easter to all of my subscribers and friends on him you know that come and look at this video happy easter to you all i hope that you have a wonderful day and until i make the next video peace